Back with more Digital Trends Live. Thanks for tuning in. Like we said, drop in those comments and questions right there. And now we are joined by Luke Larson. Hello, Luke. Hey, Greg. How's it going? Really good. So best products of 2018 has kind of been something that we've been talking about on the show, and there's a huge feature up about it. But beyond that, there's also all kinds of interesting features and things that have come out this year, over this last year. Yeah, and I, you know, it's like, it's funny, because like, talking about products of the year, um, and we review so many products in the office. Yeah. So for me, I'm reviewing all these laptops all year, and you know, do great ones like the XPS 13 you guys just talked about. Uh-huh. But like there are also just like weird things that come through, and even in like laptops where people, it tends to be a little more conservative, a little more like samey samey, you know. Yeah. It's a laptop, right? But there are like occasionally just like these like weird laptops that come out, you know, and it's just like differences. Yeah. Well, I mean, and you look at so many, I can't even imagine, you know, how many you see throughout the year. Right. And I'm sure looking at the differences when somebody does something that's a little bit out of the ordinary, I'm sure it stands out. <laughs> right, like, it really stands out, because a lot of them look the same. Like, yeah. You know, like, a lot of them, all of the, they all the do laptop similar is a laptop. things. Yeah. Right, exactly. But we are in an interesting moment right now with uh, laptops where companies are starting to like experiment and just like try things, which is kind of a cool moment to be in, because like, I think it has been very much the same uh, for years. And yeah. I think now we're just like in an interesting moment. So hopefully it's like a transition into some cool stuff. Coming some, into something cool. Maybe at CES. Yeah. We'll see yeah. That. Yeah. So for all the ones we're going to talk about, like I, I, I see these as things that are going to be, they're forward looking. Not all of them are super successful <laughs> in, in, in terms of how they actually function and how you actually would use them today, but they all point to something in the future, I think, that could be interesting. Nice. So. Well, why don't we walk through uh, some of the different ones. You've got one here in the studio, and I know I was saying earlier that we might have all three, but we, we've got some images for the other ones, so we'll talk about the other ones as well. But we've got this one right here. Yes, and this one um, I, I think it's good to start with because this one is the one that does experimental and weird, except does it in a way that actually works well as an actual product. You can actually use this for what it's intended to, and it, like you'd be totally happy buying it. So so this, which one is this that we have here? This is the HP Spectrefolio, and um, the, the thing, the main thing right off the bat is the thing is made of leather. So, and that's so fascinating to me. So, I, I, you know, if you're looking at it right now, you might think that this is just a case that's on there, uh, so, you know, that you put on outside of it. But no, this is actually leather. It's actually like the computer is built into the leather. Um, and on the front side, you can see, on the back, it just looks like a case, kind of. Yeah, it but looks like a front, notebook, you can, like an actual physical notebook. Right, right. Well, well spoilers. Uh-oh. I don't want to show uh -oh. that yet. All right. Um, but you can, see, <laughs> <laughs> you can see, like, the, the keyboard deck, like, goes right into the leather. Um, and so you get this really interesting... Totally new. We've never seen a product like this quite before, and it's not thick. It's not yeah. like bulky because of the heather, because the leather. But um, yeah. So what what is the point of making it out of leather? I mean, other than you know, it's, it's cool. It, it yeah. feels nice. Yeah, great. I mean, I think there's the first thing, which is just like it looks cool, and I think not only does it look cool, I think it has like a premium kind of feel, like you know, yeah. you upgrade your car, you put leather in the seats or whatever. Right. You know, like I think that's the <laughs> idea here. It's like not you got faux the leather. leather. Yeah, exactly. Um, it comes in a couple different colors, um, and um, and what's really cool about it is Full on the, leather. I'll show the the other really cool thing about the leather, what it allows it to do, because this is a two in one device. So it is a laptop. Like unlike a lot of two in ones, you can actually put it on your lap and use it as a normal laptop. It feels totally normal. Um, but because of the leather, you can actually you know do this cool thing with the two in one um, functionality. So basically, that pops out there. Oh, nice. And you can slide it forward, and you get that mode, which is a really weird mode. But basically, it's kind of like a medium mode. You know, you might watch a movie there, but you also have access to the trackpad there. Um, the whole thing is touch, obviously. So, like, you can do that, and then you can also move it back, go full, um, you know, tablet mode like that. That's and, pretty and what awesome. What allows it to do that is the leather, because the leather, obviously, leather is a, you know, a flexible um, That's true. material. It's not like plastic or metal. Now, so. going forward, do you think this is something that other companies will adopt or that they'll continue on with this? Or is this just a one-off like, hey, let's see if we can do it? You know, it might be like the leather specifically might just be a one-off thing. But I do think that what this is pointing to is a future where companies are starting to start to use these different materials other mm -hmm. than just plastic or like aluminum or something. Yeah. Like we're going to see them start to experiment with 
Like, what else can we make this out of to make it stand out in the market? Because, and, and what really allows them to do this, this could not have been made a few years ago, at least not in the way that it, it is here, because this has a Intel Y-series processor in it, which is super low power, it's fanless, completely fanless, so like the heat is really low, and, which, and that's what allows them to put, make, you know, put this leather wrapping on it. Yeah, so it's not um, gonna get super hot and... Right, right, and it, but it, it's, so it's a low power, but it's also like a pretty good performer. So like, you could use this as your main laptop, you would have no problem at all with that. It's not gonna like blow off the charts, but it's, it's totally capable, right. and you know, has great battery life, all the kind of things you would want in a laptop. So, wow. Made out of leather. So would you buy the uh, I, fully loaded? <laughs> I would use one. I yeah. don't know if I'd, I'd get the fully loaded leather with the yeah. leather coat. And, yeah. Um, yeah. I think it takes a certain amount of like, um, I don't know. I don't think I would either. Like this doesn't quite fit me. Like, right. I need a leather laptop. I would know? use one totally. if it were given to me. Totally. I, would not, I don't think I would purchase one, but I do think that's pretty neat. Yeah. That they're trying out some different things. Yep. You know, giving a different look and adding more style into it. Because like you said, they all look so much the same that maybe style is going to be one of the differentiations. Yeah, you know, especially if they can, use. like I said, if like they can actually do it in a way that doesn't like ruin the entire computing experience, yeah. you know? Like I think in the past, gimmicky things like that would just like, it's worthless outside of mm -hmm. the gimmick, whereas this is like, it's actually a really capable you know, laptop. So. Well, and so that's the HP Spectre Folio? HP Spectre Folio. Okay, yep. and then we've got a couple more that we wanted to talk about too. So again, taking a look at some of Luke's, uh, the, the weirdest or some of the most out there laptops, the ones that took a little bit of a chance on some things, yeah, good or bad. Uh, which one do you want to talk about here? Well, we'll save the, the weirdest for last. So okay. let's go next to the, the Pixel Slate. Okay, um, the Pixel Slate. Yeah, we've brought it on the show before, but I wanted to mention it because it has, I think it's pointing towards a future where it's experimenting a lot with operating system and, okay. and software. Now is this a Chrome OS? This is Chrome OS, um, and it's a tablet, obviously you can see there in the video. Um, but like a Surface Pro, like you've got here, it's, you know, it can be used as a laptop also mm -hmm. because there's that um, keyboard that attaches to it. What's interesting about the Pixel Slate and what Google's doing with Chrome OS is you've got... Look, there you are. There, there I am in a, on a different day. Um, <laughs> in a different It'd shirt. be awkward if you had the same shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wondered if that could happen at some point. Oh, it know? could. Oh, yeah. I've only got so many shirts. So it could happen. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the Pixel Slate, though, has Android apps on it, and it has all this new tablet functionality that kind of takes Chrome OS, which has typically been, you know, a desktop operating system, mm -hmm. and makes it a tablet, you know, it's like, and it actually merges those two worlds in a really interesting way, and unlike really anything that's out there, you know, yeah. like, you know, they don't really have that on the iPad, you don't really have that on Windows 10, they have the kind of the full picture. Um, it, it's not a perfect product. It's got a ton, right. tons of issues, but I think this is the future that like a lot of people thought would have been here a long time ago. <laughs> right, that kind of crossover you know? style. Yeah. yeah. So you think that's where it's headed? Will it ever have like this much functionality as like a Windows? I, I would hope or, so. You know, I think yeah. like Google is going to continue to like put some of those features into it, but also like I think um, the way we use computers is changing. And, yeah. Like, our dependence right. on web applications and just like the browser is is increasing by the day, you know? Just, I mean, everything, I mean, I don't know how much I've switched to that's just Google Docs, you know? Yeah. I mean, I, I switched to a lot of that. So yeah, I can see that that's the way it's going. Yeah. I think it's it's definitely a hot button issue, but I mean, even by our comments that we had earlier today, oh, for real. Uh, yeah. people get very defensive about Chrome or they're very against it. Uh huh. One yeah. or the other. I and mean, that, and that's going to be Google's, you know, main adversary here is just like overcoming public opinion. Because I think people are just like Chrome OS, it's yeah. cheap, it's like junky, you can't do anything with it, it's just a web browser, you know. Right. I, it has, and all those things are, are legitimate. But I think not so much, I'm not talking so much about this specific operating system, but I think in the future, mobile and desktop yeah. are going to have to finally like be it's like meet happen, in yeah. one device <laughs> so that we're not like living gotta have in these a unifier two there yeah exactly the yeah i mean i think the fact that um that chrome os the, that chromebooks and everything like that are being used in schools so much brilliant move mm -hmm. on google's part mm -hmm. just from a marketing standpoint like here kids yeah 
Once yeah. you get used to this. Although, wow. what's interesting is I've talked to kids about that, and they're like, oh, I hate my Chromebook. <laughs> because it's like, <laughs> the Chromebooks they give schools are like $200, you know? So they're like, oh, Chrome, they're only reaffirming the fact that these are like junky computers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. So they're like, give me anything other than a Chromebook when I graduate <laughs> high school. <laughs> all right, so maybe that backfires. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm not doing the marketing for Google. Um, all right, we've got, we got that. Uh, let's go on to our, to our next one here. Yeah, and this laptop. this one wins the award for craziest, most experimental. Um, I don't even know if we'll see a computer like this. I mean, really? Uh, again, well, again, this is like I think this is forward looking. This is pointing to the future of computing. Um, it's the YogaBook C930. Um, this was the most interesting laptop I reviewed this year by far. Um, as you can see there, it doesn't have a keyboard. Yeah, it's just all just all a screen. Yeah, it's got yeah. two screens. Um, one, the bottom one where you normally would have a keyboard is a um, e-ink screen. So it feels horrible to type on, yeah. as you can imagine. Um, and I remember I actually did try typing on this when, when you had it here. Yeah. It is a weird experience, just a completely flat, I mean, it just feels like you're tapping on a, I mean, that's you are, you're just tapping on a screen, just yeah. a blank screen right. without that haptic feedback yeah. that yeah. You know, at least I need just to feel like I'm I don't know. It just yeah, you certainly. Normal. It just feels weird. You, you it's certainly outside of not your like zone. touch type without yeah. looking. Like you have to kind of like yeah. you know, look mm. down at your fingers. Um, so like, there's obvious like issues. So the e-ink screen also works as a uh, like e-reader. So you can like flip it around. You can read it, read books okay. on it. Um, so there's like these like interesting advantages. Um, I don't think this device fully took advantage of the possibilities because when you think about the fact that you could have two screens, like you can you could do so much with a second screen. Yeah. You know, like if you're not using the keyboard, you could put all sorts of like functions in there other than the keyboard. You know, there's just like all sorts of stuff you could do. Yeah, um, I, and I think that's an, an interesting thing. Like, do you think this is something that more people are going to do? Yeah, and I think I think the obvious like problem has been the keyboard. Like people yeah. need a keyboard type. Yeah, I need that feedback. Can, can we get more haptic feedback on something? Right, like that? and yeah. I think that's the that's the real question. That's yeah. what probably has kept companies from pursuing products like that uh -huh. until the tech is there. Whereas Lenovo was just like, we're just gonna do it and just put it do out it, there. throw it out, see what happens. And I have to give them like props for that because like if the products are out there, people are experience, experiencing them, seeing them. There's going to be like a more of a demand for that, and and I think companies will be pushed to actually solve that problem of like fixing the haptic feedback thing, you know. And yeah. So I think I, that's what I'm hoping for at least <laughs> that coming out of that, you know. Yeah. So. Wow. Well, um, and again, these are the top three that you picked. These are the top they three. Picked. There's probably a couple more that I you know throw in the Surface Go maybe. That's a kind of a weird, it's a little tiny um, tablet. Um, so there's a couple different you know weird interesting, but those are the three that I would point to. And the one that I would say does it the best is right here, the HP Spectre. It's the leather. Got to have the leather. Got to have the leather. Well, um, Luke, thank you so much for hopping on to talk about these. Yeah. I mean, these are definitely interesting. It's always, it's always crazy, you know, where the innovation goes and what's actually going to take off and what won't take off. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll know probably we'll see. in a year. Yeah. We'll yeah. See. Whether, whether this becomes a trend or other companies start doing it. Um, again, and is there an article up about this? Or we're just kind of talking about these. There's articles about all these computers. Yeah, you can check out. There's re full reviews for all three of these okay. um, comparisons and whatnot. Okay. And what's what's your Twitter handle? What's uh, Twitter, Twitter handle is la. L.A. Larson E.N. 11 at, uh, or on Twitter. Larson 11 on Twitter. Follow Luke. All right, Luke, thanks so much.